what's going on youtube jeans here hope you guys are having a wonderful day today we are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for pokemon sword and pokemon shield in today's video we're using a team i should say an elder Goss team that got top five in the last ranked season you guys already know the deal if you do enjoy the content anytime make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video and if you're not subscribed to the channel click that big red subscribe button and join the jeans community also turn on those notification bells so you know when each and every one of my videos go live but uh, let's get started here with today's team preview. Let's get right after it with Soul Galio in that top left corner with full metal body alongside with that assault vest. We got Sun Seal Strike and Psychic Fangs both for our stab moves. And then we got Stone Edge and Wild Charge for our lonesome coverage moves. But uh, it's actually really different Soul Galio right here. I'm so used to using like a weakness policy Soul Galio. This one's rocking a Soul Vest. So cannot wait to use this Pokemon and roll out strong with that guy. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be that Elder Gloss. Really cool Pokemon from Gen 9. We're not Gen 9, from Gen 8. We got Gen 9 on the way. And uh, it just works well because due to its ability cotton down. So every time somebody hits this Pokemon, everybody on the field goes down minus one. Pretty cool. It's pretty cool. But it's kind of annoying at the same time because it makes every single turn take 10 times longer. We got the Koba Berry as our item. We're rocking Leaf Storm, Helping Hand, Sleep Powder, and Palm Puff for our moveset. Third Pokemon is middle left. It's going to be Life Orb Ho-Oh over here with Regenerator ability. So every time we swap out a battle, we get a bit more HP back on that bar. We got Sacred Fire alongside Brave Bird, Protect, and Recover for our four moves. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Choice Scarf Urshifu. And this one's actually really cool. I always loved Urshifu, but like Choice Scarf Urshifu, it's always nice. It's always nice because it can throw off opponents, it can outspeed pretty much everything, and just get off some big damage when needed. We got Unseen Fist, so we can hit through Protect. Obviously, the Choice Scarf is the item, like we already mentioned. Then we got Surgeon Strikes, Close Combat, both for Stab. Then we got Rock Tomb and U Turn to pivot out. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our support mon. It is going to be Grimstrawl over here with the lagging tail and the prankster ability. We obviously have trick, so we can actually hand off the lagging tail and take someone else's item. Then we got screens with reflect and light clay. Or not light clay, reflect and light screen. And then we got foul play for our lonesome physical attacking move. Bottom Pokemon on the squad is Mamoswine over here. Oblivious, so you know Intimidate doesn't affect us. And then we also have that Focus Sash as item, which I think is his best item. We have Icicle Crash and EQ, both for heavy stab damage. Ice Shard for first turn priority. And last but not least, we're rocking Protect on this Mamoswine. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, not the code is chilling at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Elder Gloss Series 12 team. We're looking to have some fun here in battle number one. We are going up against a mono ghost team. He's got Decidueye, Sableye, Mimikyu, Driftlim, and then he's got Lunala and Shadow Rider Keller. So we can go both ways with this. He has Tailwind with the Driftlim, and then he has Trickrim with the Mimikyu, and he also has Trickrim with Sableye. So gotta watch out for that. Gotta watch out for that. But how should we play this one? How should we go into it? I could lead like a Pokemon like Urshifu or maybe like Grimstarl, because Grimstarl does have Foul Play, and we can trick into like this uh, nice little lagging tail onto a couple different Pokemon, which is really good really good but we just have to watch out for the dark type. is there any dark type in there i don't think so actually is sable a dark type i think he's dark and ghost oh uh, yeah so just gotta watch out for the dark types because you know pranks or so but i am gonna end up leading from snarl here and rolling out with that pokemon i could also go into a pokemon like uh Urshifu here because he's not too bad he is not too shabby here with that choice scarf he just outspeeds a lot and he can pretty much roll out the battle from there so i'm gonna go there i'm gonna go ho oh and then last but not least i am gonna lock in uh Solgaleo here and roll out. actually maybe we might not even bring Solgaleo. ghost does him so dirty so I don't even think I'm going to bring Solgaleo. I think I'm just going to roll into like a Pokemon like Elder Gloss. Or I think I need a bit more attack power. So Mammoth so I can come in the back end. I'm digging it. Let's do it. Solgaleo, you got to sit in the back. You're not dealing with all these ghost type Pokemon. It's just not happening. It's just not happening. But uh, yeah, before Battle Number 1 even starts, you guys know the deal. Let me know in the comment section down below. What question of the day. What support Pokemon is your favorite? Because we got Elder Gloss rocking here. A crazy support Pokemon. You guys let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. But uh, let's see who he ends up leading. What ghost type are you leading? Mimikyu, Sableye, and Lunala. So come on. Sableye and Lunala are going to poke here. Um, I could just go into a certain strikes here. He does have Fake Out ready to roll. I'm going to pop a Light Train if I really want to. I'm thinking of just tricking and taking this item. I think it's going to be my play. Just trick, take that item, and then pop into a certain strikes here. Because say he's going for a Meteor Beam, we can, uh, he could be in a Power Herb. Kind of like Trance kind of thing. But yeah, he's going to do that. We're going to end up popping a trick. We're going to take his item. I'm guessing it's Power Herb. Maybe he's going for Meteor Beam. If that's the case, we can actually take a, take away a turn here. We got Laggy Tail, and we did get the Power Herb. Nice. So he's going to go for, oh, a straight Moon Blast. So he's going to dump on me. That's going to say bye-bye to Urshifu. No problem, right? Yeah, Urshifu is gone. This is not the Power Herb anymore, but he did just rip into my life. This sick team. It seems sick. I could go into Ho-Oh and Dynamax here, which I'm kind of leaning towards. I am definitely leaning towards uh, this Ho-Oh. It's going to max it ho and I don't want that thing to have a jack button. I really do not want that thing to have a jack button, but I'm going to pop a nice little light screen here. I think I'm just going to Dynamax and get a bit more speed onto her, onto her plate. 
on to our plate here and just get after Sableye. Get after this lovely little Sableye. We're hoping it's not a Jack button so he can't just trick me into an Jack button. That would kind of be annoying. That could definitely be annoying. That could definitely do me dirty because Sableye. Sableyes are known to rock a Jack button and trick, you know? They are known for that. So we're gonna Dynamax out. Oh, we're gonna try to get Rip in here and try to get after his battle. See who he or what he ends up doing. Just no, just no trick. Just no trick. Just leave me alone here. Let's see what he does. Oh, he's gonna end up Dynamax and Lunalis. So Lunalis gonna get the Dynamax here. It does have a Rock. Move. Oh god, it does have a Rock, move, but it does have Lagging Tail. At the same time. Okay. Okay, I see you. I, I see you, Lunala. I see you. I see how you're playing. I see how you're playing. We do have Light Screen up, which is solid. I know we don't. We don't have Light Screen up. I think we're setting it up. Let's get after it. So Light Screen's gonna poke out here. Beautiful. Gonna help us out with this rock move. This rock move is going four times super effective on the Ho-Oh. Could definitely give us a problem. We go for an airstream. We're gonna take a bit, bit of speed here and try to get rid of this uh, Sableye, which we do. Okay, so Sableye's gone. Sableye's gone. We need Ho-Oh eating up some shots. We need my boy Ho-Oh eating up some shots. And hopefully this uh, this rock fall doesn't do more than half, but it probably does. Wait a minute, you're alive? Wait, 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 what just happened? What berry did he just eat? Oh, makes me lose some HP. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what the, what the heck that berry just did. What did that berry just do? He ends up dropping a rock, and my Ho-Oh is at, able to soak, which is gorgeous. I think we can soak up another one. I think we can soak up another one. I'm not too sure. I am not too sure. I could max guard this turn, just so we can block that shot. Kind of roll from there. But we'll see who he wants to bring out, because I'm probably just going to foul play into whoever he is here for. I am plus one on speed, which is great. Which is just dandy. It's just beautiful. The rock is definitely scary. The rock is, is just a little scary. He's gonna end up going into Mimikyu. Okay. And he might pop a trick room at this point. He might pop a trick room, so I kind of might want to double down into this guy. Whose speed goes first? That's the real question. Who's faster? Grimmsnarl or. Hello. Hello is, which is a little tough. Because he's gonna pop a trick room. We, we already know that. We already know he's popping a trick room. You know, I'm gonna roll into this. And. Do I just flare into him? What do I do here? I think I want to get off as much damage as I can into this guy. We know he's popping the Trick Room. We know Trick Room's coming out here. He might guard here, which could be annoying. But we're going to end up flaring. I don't care if my Ho-Oh goes down here because he's going to Trick Room and I want to get off one more turn with him. That's some solid damage. So I pick up some solid damage. Mimikyu's probably going to pop the Trick Room. And then I can bring out my Mammoth. So I try to clean up the battle. Let's see. Play Ruffs can come out here. So he's not going to Trick Room here. We don't have Reflect up, but we still eat, which is gorgeous. Well, I could have guarded there then. Could have definitely guarded. Foul play is going to poke here and take him out. Let's go. Big time foul play. Coming in hot. That's a big time KO with foul play. Because that allows us to get off one more turn with Ho-Oh. That's huge. That is huge. That allows us to get off one more turn with the lovely little Ho-Oh. And I think I'm just going to pop some speed. I think I'm just going to take some speed here. Try to get uh, speed back on Grimmsnarl's side and roll from there. He's going to go. Oh, come on. He's going to go into Calyrex. Not Calyrex. Not Calyrex. And I think I'm just going to trick it to try to take off its, uh, its Sash, right? That's gotta be my play. I gotta trick it to try to take off Sash. I'm gonna go there and I'm just gonna go for a flare. Just to try to pick up the KO. Because if I can take off the Sash here and Ho oh maybe just might be able to eat up an Astro Barrage due to that light screen, could be sitting good. We could be sitting good. But we need that focus Sash. We need to take that when you say, hey, well, that's mine. Let's take it. We're gonna say, yo, give me that Sash. Give me that focus Sash. Because Grimstar obviously goes down here. Right? 100%. Power Herb, we take the focus Sash. He goes for Astro Barrage. Eat us up, Ho oh. Let's go. Ho oh with the eat up. We're gonna say bye bye to Calyrex, which is a huge turn. And hopefully uh, we can eat up this next shot too. Hopefully we can eat up this next shot from Mimikyu. Because that will leave us a 2v1. Because he still does have the disguise. We do have uh what is it, Ice Shard to take it off, which could be good. But we'll see how this one plays. He's gonna go for play rough. Beautiful. Beautiful. And yo, did I survive on one? I thought my Grimstar went down. We survived on one with a free focus. That's a big time turn. That's a big time turn because now I can bring out Mammoth Swine. I can Ice Shard take off the skies. Hello, Al Speed. Sacred Fire should just be absolutely ripping the Mimikyu and pick us up that big win. Yo, let's go. Gene's starting off strong with today's video. We are starting off strong. Yo, the Grim Snarl tricks to take off the Focus Sash. That was play of the game. Play of the game. Play of the game. So let's go Ice Shard here. Bang. And then just Sacred Fire across. That should be GG's. That should be GG's. G to the G's. Goes for Shadow Sneak. Okay. That should not kill me. Beautiful. 11 HP. That's GG's. Get him on out of here. Get him on out of here. Ice Shard coming through. This guy's going to pop. Sacred Fire should be able to do enough damage in this drought to take it out. We're Life Orb. It's Stab. Run it. Run it, Ho-Oh. Drop this little fake Pikachu Pokemon. Get him on out of here. Ho-Oh ripping in today's video. Or today, this first battle. 
This first battle, he absolutely did. Put him in Dynamax form. Him and Grimstone just find the battle, and we take battle number one. Great start to today's video, taking down that mono ghost team. We're hopping into our second bout here, going up against like a double weather team, I guess. He has the Charizard and the Kyogre. I'm guessing the sunny day is rocking on the Wimscott, but then he also has Defiant Thunderous, Zacian, and Amoongus for support in the back end. Okay, how should we play this one? How should we go into it? I feel like Elder Gloss could be pretty solid here. Elder Gloss with Cotton Down could kind of get some speed control for us and we kind of wall out the battle from there. But I do like you, Elder Gloss. I do really like you. We could go you and maybe lead Urshifu here because I like, I like Urshifu with that speed. Or I could go with Trick Grimstarl. Trick Grimstarl is type nice. He's type nice with it, but I think I'm just going to go Urshifu here. I'm going to bring Ho-Oh in the back end, and then obviously roll out with Sokelia, right? Yeah. I'm digging it. Kyogre is definitely looking a little scary. Hopefully we can, uh, hopefully we can get after that. Hopefully we can get after it, but yeah, I don't like that. I do not like that Kyogre. That Kyogre is scary, but we got the piano playing. We're ready to roll. We're ready to roll. Considering we're coming off that big fat win, let's try to make it back to back. Let's try to make it two in a row. But yeah, Kyogre is definitely the scary mon in this situation because I feel like he can just kind of just like rush out most of my team. But we'll see who he wants to lead. He's going to end up leading. Yeah, Kyogre. <laughs> He's going to end up leading Kyogre. Okay, I'm kind of cool with that. Because, um, what can I do here? I definitely want to go for a Leaf Storm. I definitely want to go for a Leaf Storm. And since I outspeed that Kyogre, actually, we might not after Tailwind. Why not after that Tailwind? But I want to U turn out of here. Definitely I'm going to go for a Sleep Storm move on that slot. I wish I did have Protect. I really want to U-turn out of here. Hmm. What do I want to do here? Maybe just Surgeon Strikes you down in the rain? We might be able to eat up these shots. If I get off the Sleep Storm, we should be fine. Right? I think we should be fine. Is he going to pop a Tailwind? I wonder. He is going to Tailwind, and he's going to go for a Water Spot. How much damage is this really going to do? We're both Water Types. It's both not very effective. Come on, guys. Eat this up. Eat this up. Who'd that take out? Did that take out Urshfu? Who'd that just take out? That's, that's my real question. Who did that just take out? I don't like this game. I got my Urshfu, man. <laughs> At least Elder Ghost will be able to eat that up. Leaf Storm's gonna fly through. It should be able to do a great amount of damage, right? Not as much as I wanted it to do. Definitely not as much as I wanted it to do. That's rough. That's rough. We could bring out Solgaleo and Dynamax him, which I'm kind of leaning towards. I'm kind of leaning towards the Solgaleo Dynamax and saving Ho-Oh for the back end. But dude, how, how does Urshfu die with that? That's why Kyogre is so OP, man. Dude is ridiculously strong. Ridiculously strong. Okay. Now we're sitting here. I could... Uh, what can I do here? Hmm. I don't need a helping hand. I really don't. I wish I had Protect. I did wish I had Protect here. I don't want a helping hand. I really don't. Ba -ba -ba -bum. I guess we'll go for another Leaf Storm. Or we can go for like a Palm Puff here. Just try to take off Sash. Because I'm going to go there. And I'm going to Dynamax you. And uh, I guess we'll take a Defense Boost. Did we take a Defense Boost here? Did we take a Defense Boost here with what Pokemon does he have on the field? He has Zacian who's probably ripping in the back end. That kind of makes me want to do that. But it's going to be not very effective on him. So I think I'm just going to take a uh, Terrain Control. And just make sure this guy goes down. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I can't believe Urshu died there. That's a little upsetting. And I thought Elgos could do a bit more damage because, you know, it's Leaf Storm. It's high base damage. And it is Stab. I thought it was going to do a, uh, probably bring him down the red or maybe even KO the Kyogre. But I guess not. I guess not. But we Dynamax Solgaleo here. It's not a bad Dynamax for us. He knows that a Water Spout will take us out. So I think uh, Elgos just drops out here, right? Actually, no. Water Spout would not take us out. Drops an Energy Ball. We should be able to eat that up. Love you, Elder Gloss. What's Kyogre going for? Oh, we get the Cotton Down, too. That's huge. The Cotton Down's huge. The Cotton Down is enormous. It is ridiculously strong. And we have Full Metal Body, so that doesn't work on us. Origin Pulse will take out the Elder Gloss, unless that's the Elder Gloss that dodged it. Let's go, Elder Gloss. That's big time dodge, Elder Gloss. Max Mindstorm should take out the Kyogre. We should be able to take off Sash. And the most important part about this situation is it leaves Elder Gloss on the field again to get another Cotton Down. It's gorgeous. It's lovely. We love that. We love that. That's big time plays. That's big time plays. But I think we have to start bulking defense on my, uh, on my, what's it called? I think we have to start bulking defense onto my, uh, onto my Solgaleo. And the sheer fact is that because Zacian could come out here and do some big old work. And there goes Charizard. So Charizard's going to come out here, potentially Dynamax. Um, I am going to go for a Sleep Powder on him. I'm going to go for a Sleep Powder and can rock too. I think I double down into that shot, you know? Because Charger's going to be the big threat. 
Charizard is definitely a big threat. I think he's gonna energy ball and uh go for G Max Wildfire. Just had so the G Max Wildfire damage can take out my Elder Claws. But still that could cotton down. He is in Tailwind, which kinda stinks, but it, as long as he's not holding the Charity Bear, we should be fine. But I should be able to eat up whatever he has to offer. Every he has to all. And say he does have the Charity Berry, then the Sleep Powder comes in after the fact and rolls out from there. So I'm with that all day. I'm with that all day. Oh no, he changes weather. Oh no. Oh no, can you eat this up? I mean, we have Assault Vest. It's gonna be tough though. Sunny day coming in hot. Not the sunny day. Wildfire coming in here. Go after Elder Gloss. Goes there for Soul Gladly. Eat this up, yo. You have Assault Vest. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul, dude. Charizard's OP, man. Charizard's so good. <laughs> Look at that, yo. Rips into my Soul Gale, no problem. Even through a Soul Vest. There's no problem. He's gonna take some Solar Power. Sleep Power's gonna actually connect, which is gorgeous. Like, that's a lovely turn. But he knows that this chip damage is gonna start uh, coming in hot. So the Solar Power's gonna chip up. Um, What do I do from here? What do I do from here? There's another Wildfire takes me out. I have to go into ho -Oh here. And I think I just Sacred Fire take out the Wimscott, or do I start getting after that Charizard? Hmm. What's a Jeans player? What is a Jeans player? Good helping hand and Brave Bird. Get off as much damage as I can, which I think I'm gonna do. I have to start getting after his Charizard. I have to start getting after his Charizard. I can easily take out the Wimscott here, no problem. I can easily take out this Wimscott. I wanted to, but Charizard's the main threat. Charizard is just the main threat. So you can go for an energy ball. Go after Wimscott or or Elder Gloss. That works perfectly fine. This cotton down's gonna come out here. And our bad problem here is going to be the recoil damage that we're about to take. We're about to take a lot of recoil damage, and, and it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt, man. And we drop our speed as well. That's what sinks about cotton down. The cotton down didn't really do anything. Brave Bird comes in hot and Oh my god! Oh, oh the damage the damage but we know he has Zashin in the back end Zashin's gonna roll out here and just dump on us right I didn't I did not expect him to do that much damage I did not expect him to do that much damage he's gonna bring out Zashin um can we you know I mean we kind of count we counter Zashin pretty hard here I can just rip it rip into it with this I don't know man it's gonna be tough let's go Sacred Fire here Sacred Fire takes out both these guys in one shot so if I can eat up shots here, we're, we should be chilling. But I don't think we can. Goes for Behemoth Blade. How much damage is Behemoth Blade gonna do? Let's see. How much damage is this doing? 88? What? Yo, what? Dude, this Pokemon's way too strong. Zacin is way too strong. 88 damage on my Ho-Oh. -Oh. Get on out of here. I was not expecting that Zacin to take out Ho-Oh -Oh just like that. I thought we were gonna be able to live Drop a stick of fire, take out the Zacian, and then it was going to be a close battle between me and Elder Goss due to us being low HP. But, or not Elder Goss, Wim's got. But still, that Zacian is OP. Just rip into my ho oh no problem. Even though I was not very effective up against all of his moves. You know, just get out of here. Just get out of here. But we're hopping into our second battle. He's got a top tier team with Zacian, Groudon, Charizard, Incineroar, Storm Drain, Gashon, who I, I'm almost positive he's not going to bring in, and then Grimstarl in the back end. How should I play this one? I kind of want to lead Elder Goss, but I feel like a lot of firepower is going to come out here. But I kind of want to go here and here. Right? That does sound pretty nice. That does sound pretty nice. I'm going to roll in with these two. I'm going to roll in with the, those two. I got to bring Ho-Oh because, you know, it's Ho-Oh. And then last but not least, I could go into Urshifu or I could go Mammoth Swine here. And what should I do here? I mean, Urshifu is solid if we can get rid of the Sun. But the Sun's going to be such a pain to get rid of. Unless I drop like a rock with Solgaleo and kind of get moving from, from there. Which I think I'm going to do because he's probably going to have Incineroar or Charizard out in this lineup. So I could just drop a rock, change up the weather. Get after that with Surgeon Strikes and go from there. I'm digging it. I'm liking it. Yo, look at this music. Hey, yo, we jamming. We jamming in the third and final battle, but I still can't believe he did 88 damage. But that Behemoth Blade, I was not very effective. Dude, get on out my face. That dang dog with the sword and smell. Ridiculously strong. Ridiculously strong. He's going to end up leading Charizard and Groudon, so he's going to roll out with the squad. And uh, um, I don't know what I should do here. I do not know what I should do. Max guard my uh, Solgaleo. And roll into a uh, sleep powder. Definitely be my option. I think I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking of doing sleep powder. I do not have max guard. I hurt soul. I hurt soul. Oh, it looks like we're gonna have to soak up the shot. Where do we go into Urshfu? Who's soaking up the shot? 
Urshfu. Let's do it, Urshfu. You're soaking up a shot. <laughs> God dang, I don't have max guard. I do not have max guard. I don't, I, like, that. that's tough. That is tough, dude. Because I have a soul fest, I need all attacking me. So he's going to Dynamax Charizard. He's throwing a wildfire out. We're hoping it's going after the Sogalio slot. The reason I, I actually should have went to Ho-Oh. Should have went to Ho-Oh because I could just swap Ho-Oh back and just get Regenerator out on the field, you know? Probably should have been my play. But we'll take Urshifu. Hopefully he can eat up the shot. Maybe, maybe not. We're going to see. He's going to be cutting it. It's gonna, he's going to be cutting it close. He's going to go for a wildfire. Yep, right in this slot. Eat this up. I hate this game. I kid you not, I hate this game. With all my heart. With all my heart. What's he going for? He goes for blades. Okay, blades should be an easy soak for Elder Goss. Elder Goss soaks. I need you to land a sleep powder. And we cotton down him. And we cotton down. We love a good old cotton down. We love a good old cotton down. So we cotton down there. Land a sleep powder. Beautiful. So we put him to sleep. He's guaranteed to be asleep this turn. So that leads me to want to go after Groudon first turn. And then take him out next turn. Wildfire's chipping. It's chipping. Wildfire is shipping, but yeah, we got to go into Solgaleo, and I feel like Solgaleo is going to be the better Dynamax at this point. So I can get a lot of defense boost. Save my Ho-Oh for the back end. God dang it, dude. Just takes out my Urshfu, no problem. But yo, Cotton Down's working wonders. Cotton Down is working wonders, but I'm just going to help him hand this shot, and I'm going to grant myself a defense boost, right? Is that what I do? Yeah, he's sassy in the back end. Let's grant myself this defense boost. So helping hand here. We'll take out Charizard next turn with a rock, and we'll Dynamax and just say AO here. We'll do this. We shall do this. Charizard's Charger guaranteed sleep this turn. And he has minus one. And if he goes into, say, a blade or something. He should be thriving. And, and 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 I think he should be sleeping next turn. I'm banking on a, at least a two turn sleep, you know? So that's a solid play for us. We don't get we don't lose our Solgaleo. We lose our Urshfu. But I was hoping Urshfu can at least eat up and just roll out from there. But I guess not. I guess not. I'm gonna go for the helping hand. I mean Solgaleo might be faster than both these guys. Due to the cotton down. Yes, sir. Yo, cotton down. Loving it, dude. Steel Spike's going to poke here. Can we pick up the KO? Maybe not. Yeah. We're not going to do it, but still. Good damage and a nice little defense boost. Charizard's asleep this turn, and we outspeed him. Which is beautiful. Kind of hoping he goes for blades, maybe? What's he going to do here? What is he going to do here? He's going to go for a fire punch. Take out my Elder Gloss. So he takes out Elder Gloss. That's kind of fine. I feel like both these Pokemon that we have are going to be thriving here. And our last cotton down comes out here, and it doesn't affect our Solgaleo. That's huge. So I'll drop a rock this turn. I will also go into like a uh a second fire, just get rid of the ground on. And we should really just be thriving from there. From there. Loving it. Loving it. So he's not he might be Charty Berry. Which is a little tough. He might be Charty Berry here. And the reason I say that is because I know he's not Life Orb. What other item could he be holding on? Wakan Berry? It's gotta be a Charty, right? It's gotta be that Charty. It's gotta be that beautiful Charty. But Sacred Fire's gonna poke out here. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna drop the rock. Actually, dude, should I drop the lighting instead? I think he's Charty Berry, right? I think I'm going to drop the lightning instead because I really don't want to change up this weather. This weather really benefits my, uh... It really benefits my, what's it called? My Ho-Oh. So I'm going to drop the lightning instead. Even if we don't pick up the KO, I still think he's going to be asleep again. And then we outspeed him again, so... Kinda, I kind of dig where we're sitting here. He's thinking now. He's thinking of a play. But well, this is going to be a real close match, even though he has the upper hand with two KOs on me. Because we're about to pick up. We're, we're about to roll out here. He's got to have the Charty Berry. So I, I got. I think the Lightning's to play here. Hopefully Lightning can pick up the KO. We do get the terrain as well. Which is beautiful. Max Lightning's going to fly here. Can we pick up the KO? Maybe, maybe not. It does not, but it puts it low. I think that was better than going into the Rockfall. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. But Ho-Oh definitely outspeeds here. Oh, he's going to be able to drop a Secret Fire. We're going to say bye-bye to Groudon. Get him on out of here. See you later, Scrub. And Charizard still takes solar power damage, which is nice. Let's see. Is he asleep? Please be asleep. Do not wake up. It's okay. We're dead. We survived, but Wildfire's going to take us out. That's rough, man. That is rough. That's rough. That, 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 that is rough. That's a rough. That's a rough sleep for us. That is a real rough sleep for us. That's the definition of a rough sleep right there. That's a that's a rough sleep. Solar power will take it out next turn. There should be one more turn left in the sun. But that's bad. That's a bad that's a bad sleep for us. One turn sleep. Come on, yo. Come on. Why you gotta do me dirty like that game? 
Why you gotta do me dirty like that? Now he brings out Incineroar. Dude, if we had... Dude, we could have won this battle so easily. We could have won this battle so easily if it wasn't for that sleep. So Galia would have just been able to roll out strong here. So Galia would have just been able to drop rocks. We could have just been thriving here, dominating the battle. Now we're just going to end up losing. That's so rough. But we're going to have to drop a Brave Bird here. Brave Bird going to have to come in hot. We're going to have to roll off from there. Fake Out's going to chomp at us. What's Charizard going for? Charizard's going to go for an H power. That's four times. That might just pick up the KO right then and there. Puts us on 10, and, and that's going to that's gonna be GG's. But we do get rid of the Charizard. We do get rid of the Charizard. Oh, my God, dude. If we didn't have sleep, if that didn't happen, we would have been thriving. We would have been thriving because I could have just dropped a rock right onto uh right onto Incineroar here. Pick up some big damage. Take out Charizard with my uh with my ho oh. Or he would have faked me out. But still, we could we could have been thriving. We could have been thriving. Because then I would have had defense boost going with a Solgaleo versus this thing. Oh, dude, we would have been thriving. We would have been thriving so good. We've been doing so good. We've been doing so good. Probably would have grabbed ourselves a winning record, but the one turn sleep really does me dirty. He comes in with a behemoth blade. That's gonna be GG's. Rough, rough third battle. That's a rough third battle. That is the definition of a rough third battle right there. Come on, man. One turn sleep. Every time I'm asleep, it's like three turns. Every single time. And this guy gets off with a one turn sleep. Get on out my face. One and two for today's video. I felt like I got to show off Elder Goss pretty much to its fullest potential. The con down is really, really strong. When paired up with a full metal body Pokemon like Solgaleo, it works really, really well. But like I said, we went one and two. Probably should have went two and one. Maybe should have picked up another win. But hey. I'm glad I got to showcase Steam and use it for you guys in the video. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.